Hey there everybody, it's Stefan the Old World Gamer, and welcome to our first tutorial for the Spigot Bucket Server. And uh, our first one's going to be setting up our actual bucket server, so um, in case you're wondering, yes, you can still use Bucket uh, in order to make your own server and stuff, it's just not continued on uh, the normal Bucket webpage. You have to get it through Spigot. Now, in order to get all this to run, the first thing you're going to need is... Uh, you're gonna have to download uh, what's called uh, Git uh, for Windows, Git Bash, and basically it's um, a command uh, user interface in order for you to install uh, the build tools that jar and stuff for um, your bucket server. So, uh, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to go to uh, git hyphen for hyphen windows dot github dot io. Now, I know that's a lot to take in at once, but uh, there will be links in the description as well. So, first thing uh, I'm going to also uh, make note is that I'm on my H drive on my own Minecraft folder. And as you can see, I have different Minecraft folders here. I have one right here for uh, our bucket test, basically one we're doing. And the reason I'm doing this is to show you how to install your bucket server to your own folder in case you're not used to command line prompt or uh, using the different uh, commands while you're in a, uh, a command window so um, basically that's why I have this set up so in case yours you don't want to have yours on your C drive if you have it somewhere else well I'll show you how to do that once you have uh, git bash uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to download buildtools.jar now the way that we do that is we're going to go to spigotmc.org. We're going to go to downloads. And right here, buildtools.jar. So there you go. I've downloaded it. It's my third time. All right. So once you have downloaded buildtools.jar, uh, we can uh, just show it here in folder. What we're going to do is we are going to cut that. We're going to take it. And we are going to put it into the Minecraft folder that we want to put it in. So I'm going to put this one into bucket test. There we go. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to our windows. And we are going to open up, uh, let's see, where are you? Git. Git bash. So it should be here under your apps by name. Go to git bash, click on it once, and you're going to see basically what you see uh, right here. So. In order to change directories, you will want to type in CD for change directory. Hit space. And in order to go to different drives, you'll type in a drive letter. And then you're going to use a colon and a forward slash. Press enter. And as you can see, uh, that'll bring me into my C drive. If you see up above there now, it says OWGPC, uh, Ming X64. I think that's an X. Or no. I can't read because it's so small. Anyways, we're on our C drive, but that's not what I want to be. So we're going to change directory. So wherever your directory is, go to type in whichever one you want to be in. There we go. We are now in H. Now we will change directory again to Minecraft. Now we are in the Minecraft folder and we will do once more change directory. And this will be wherever you have the um, build tools jar. So, mine is in bucket test. Ah, now, how do we do this again? Let's see. There we go. So, if you want to see your directory in the folder you're currently in, just dir will give you the directory. So, yes, I forgot about that. So, change directory, and then it's going to be bucket, and then a backslash, space, test press enter and I'm there so once we're there what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in a command in order to use the build tools uh, and then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put in the command in order for it to unload the jar file with Java and build all the directories and folders that you're gonna need here we go first you're gonna type in Java space next hyphen jar space then build tools.jar make sure that you spell build tools with the correct uh, 
you know, capitalization if it needs to be in there, that sort of thing. Um, so, the right casing, haha. <laughs> then press enter. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. And as you can see over here in my folder, it is starting to build a few things a little bit at a time. So, it, once it's done, you'll know. So we're just gonna give that a moment. It seems to be building the rest of our folders, unloading and unpackaging everything that we need. And as you can see, there's a bucket folder, there's a craft bucket folder, and there's a spigot folder. And each one will have their own type of uh, uh, of files, and uh, and we'll have you'll be able to create your other servers through them as well. So we're almost done there. Just waiting for the last thing. There we go, and it's taking a little bit longer. You have to remember, there's a lot in these jar files. It may look like it's small, with you know three megabytes, but there's a lot of information that the computer has to read through and redistribute and repackage and make libraries for, and etc. 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 So. There's a lot to be done, but once it's done, you can have fun. So, uh, we're just going to wait on that a little bit more. Oh, looks like it's building bucket. Running some tests. Just doing craft bucket for us with snapshot. Playing more tests, making sure everything works. And it's been a while, but I did do a bucket server um, tutorial once before. But now that it's been uh, it's been all changed and it's all offered through Spigot, I figured that hey. I'm starting a new series based off of a bucket server then I should show people how to go about doing it because usually what happens is people ask me a billion questions <laughs> and uh, basically I'm, what I'm going to be doing is every time we add new plugins to our server I'm going to be doing new tutorials and reviews of those plugins to show you guys how to maximize them how we use them and why we use them that kind of thing so I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, I actually have a lot of people who are interested in playing on the server this time. So we should have lots of people. I also have uh, one person who's going to be building on the server on a regular basis, which means that there's going to be new structures, dungeons, uh, pretty much anything you can imagine. So if you guys have any suggestions for that type of thing for the upcoming adventure, <laughs> or the upcoming series then by all means let us know down below in the comments and man oh man is it ever taking its time to construct everything but at least we know that it's going to be working properly so that's all that matters looks like it's finishing up spigot there now so once that's finished we should be done we should be done And success, everything compiled successfully. There we go. So once we have this nice, awesome little message here of everything compiled successfully, yay! And once you have pretty much your, your icon is just, uh, or not your icon, your cursor is just blinking, then we're pretty much finished. So then you're all right to exit uh, Git Bash. Okay, so once we're finished with that and you're going to want to start your server, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to start up a new notepad or wordpad, doesn't matter, whichever you prefer, and we're going to make a battery file. And battery files are basically just used in order to start up uh, different types of games. Um, most of them ha are built into games on the icons or in the, I guess, the... the launching icon or whatever you want to call it so it, more or less this is more or less to get your server working so first thing we're going to do at we're going to type in echo space off which means we don't want it to go through it again next thing java space and yes we do want uh, to press enter here twice 
Java space. Now, here's the important part. So next we're gonna type hyphen XMS. This is for the memory that's going to be used by the server. You can increase or decrease this as much or as little as you wish. Uh, and basically we're going to put in 512M. That's 512 megabytes or half of a gigabyte. Uh, hit space, then another hyphen X MX. This is the maximum amount of RAM that you're gonna to want to use or memory. So we're gonna use 1024M. So 1024 megabytes is one full gigabyte. So that's usually the minimum requirement if you want to, if you have the available memory, be careful when you're doing this though. Um, you can put in more. If you want to put in more, that's totally up to you. But usually this should be the standard amount that most people don't need to worry about too much. So um, next thing we're going to do is, sorry, is we're going to space, put in another hyphen, X, X colon. Now. Uh, with newer versions of uh, Java, uh, Java 8 or above, you're not going to need to use this uh, next part here that I'm putting in, which is max perm size equals 128 megs. Next thing we're going to do is hyphen jar, which tells it to open up a jar and how to go about opening it. And next we're going to put in the one we want to use, which is craft bucket. So the next thing we're going to type is craft bucket hyphen one dot eight dot eight dot jar. You want that to be exact. If it's not exact, it's going to be looking for something different. It's not going to find it, and you won't get your server. If you type it in properly, exactly the way it is in your folder, which should be craft bucket hyphen one point eight point eight dot jar, then it should be fine. After that, we hit run a pause, and that should be it. That's basic shell command stuff. So, anyways, we're going to save this, and we're going to save this as well. First, let's go to the folder that we want to put it in, which is in Minecraft bucket test, and we're going to put it right here. And we're going to call it, and this is also very important, start, well, the, what you call it's not important, the end part is important, dot B-A-T for battery. So, I say battery, I don't know why I always say battery, I think I, I, I remember doing that when I used to use the no cash Game Boy emulator, and I think that's why I keep saying battery, it's not a battery though. Um, so start that bat, press enter, and there we go, we're done. So now, you can exit this, and this is going to start up our server. It's going to fail immediately because, well, I'll show you why. Give it a second, it's just loading up everything. Now, what's happening is it loaded up everything it needed to. Uh, server properties doesn't exist so it made one and then it failed to load the eula.txt and then it tells you this is the nice thing about command prompt you need to agree to the eula in order to run a server go to eula.txt for more info stopping server press any key to continue automatically exits so go into eula.txt and what you're going to do there is you're going to change this to true and then you're going to hit save gonna hit exit and now if you want to give your server a different name or whatever you can change all the properties in here we're not gonna bother with it just yet we're just going to this is your basic uh, tutorial for your crap bucket server so it's going to build a new world and it's gonna call it world so let, let's do it again so we hit our start that bat And as you can see, we're getting a little bit more than what we had before. <laughs> there we go. Everything is loaded. Uh, it's preparing spawn right now. And done. We are finished. So there we go. We actually have our own bucket server open and ready to go. So, uh, in order for you to join, well, you can type localhost into the, um, the server properties and that'll find the server on your computer 
For your friends, you're going to want to type in uh, your IP address, or they're going to want to type in your IP address. If you're typing in 192.168.0 or anything that starts at 192.168, those are wrong IP addresses. If you want to see what your actual IP address is and the one that you should be giving to your friends in order for them to join your server, type in the actual IP letters into Google, press enter, the first thing it's going to show you is what your IP address is. So there you go. All right, so if you have any questions about this, again, feel free to ask. I'm always happy to help. I usually respond to comments within a day, uh, usually no later, unless it's something that's not important. Uh, but if it's something that someone's asking me a question or anything I can help with, I'm more than happy to do so. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy your new server, and I hope this helps, and I'll see you all next time for more tutorials. See you later.